Hey guys, I am Dice Show and I am here playing some magic and today I am using some Dark Heavens. I don't really use that much Dark Heavens and I definitely should use it more. Wow! Sup Lanzos, how, got, how are you guys doing today? I know that, that I am having a wonderful day, I hope that you guys are also. Anyway, let's go get a real hand. Um, I don't know, I don't think I can really toss this back. I have like three plays with my hand already. Um. Nothing that really does much in my hand, I, I guess. Nothing really is going to win me the game here, but hopefully I'll draw some, some Swamperts and then maybe some other cards. That'd be nice. Midnight Haunting could be fairly clutch. If I get Midnight Haunting and a Gargoyle out, then, you know, I can actually turn this game around. And another Doom Traveler. The worst thing in the world. I guess we get the Gargoyle out there in hopes that I draw Swamp next turn and then I can actually... Uh, pump him and then still play the uh, Wall of Essence or Doom Traveler, whichever I prefer. And worst case scenario, I'm still swinging in for one, which I would be doing with the Doom Traveler anyway. So it's pretty good. Really don't, really hope I don't miss my land drop this next turn. It's a possibility since. Ugh. All right. Well, probably still going to just play out the Doom Traveler. It's really unfortunate because the Gargoyle really isn't much without his uh, without the Swampert backup. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get the Doom Traveler out there. Counterspell? Aw, oh, <laughs> that'd have been outstanding. But, I mean, if I do draw the Swamp, then I'll be somewhat okay. I do have Pillar of Sleepless in hand. Um, he's not gonna play anything, so it looks like he's probably got a Counterspell of sorts. Um, but I'm just gonna swing on over here. He might have a Repulse for one of my dudes. Um, that's, that's not too bad for me. He just loses it. I mean... I guess I can't really play my wall this turn, but I wasn't really hoping on doing that anyway. And I have a very, very slight life advantage, but he has some card advantage, and uh, I don't know, at least he can't really gain life with that deck. And I have a couple of control spells in my hand, just need to get the lands for them, and I shall be A-OK. -okay. But getting off to a fast start against Realm is always important. Building up board presence early on is really what you need to do because then it basically means that they can't just sit back and just ping your guys um, or just like, uh, not ping your guys, <laughs> just cancel your spells as you play them because they have to worry about building their own board presence otherwise they're just going to lose. <laughs> so even even though he's not playing anything here, it's it's not great for him. He's probably got like a curfew cancel kind of thing going on. Basilisk Scholar is pretty good. I don't really want to play it because I feel like it'll just get canceled, but we'll see. Maybe he's got like... Alright, nothing for me, so I'll just play the Wall of Essence, see if he'll get rid of that. Nope, he's going to let it through. There's no way he cancels the Wall of Essence here. Oh, wow. If so, I just bought myself the greatest counterspell ever. Trading a Wall of Essence for a counterspell all day, every day. Like, this card doesn't really change the board position at all. Oh, God, don't have bribery here. That would suck. I would need to draw the land off the top for sure. A sour... That's pretty bad for me right here. Um, okay. Not much I can do about that. Would like that guy back. I'm going to have to wait until we get that Swampert, though. But once I do get the Swamp, I should be A-OK -okay in terms of getting it back. Um, the question is, do I swing in here? Yeah, I think I do, because I get in for an extra damage, and one of my guys becomes a Flyer, which isn't terrible for me either. So... I'm fine with this trade. Because I probably should have waited till second main to play the Basilisk Collar. But hopefully I'll draw the Swamp next turn. And I guess, I don't know, I have to hope that he taps out again also. But, yeah, it's, it's unlikely that I'll keep drawing non-land permanents, or non-land cards. I should run into a Swamp eventually. Drake Umbra. Fuck. That's not good. Okay, so plan B. Um, we just gotta fetters that motherfucker. <laughs> Hopefully, or or Pillaroy it rather. That works as well. Um, I'm just gonna chump lock with my spirit because it's not really gonna do much for me because he's got my gargoyle back there as a one-two. <laughs> um, so there's that. And there's another planes. Okay. Um, I guess I just midnight haunting here. Uh, if I swing in, he'll block. It doesn't really matter. So, I'll play Midnight Haunting. And then, I guess I can take five this turn. Hopefully I draw a land again next turn. I mean, at least I did draw a land. That is quite useful. 
But I don't know. Maybe if I play like Pillaroy, he'll he'll curfew or something like that and bounce his guy. Jace's ingenuity main phase. Not very good, sir. Maybe he accidentally clicked that button because I don't see why he would do that. Um. Yeah, I'll take the five here, and then even if I don't draw the uh, the way to get rid of his his uh, sour. I should be okay because I'll be able to equip one of my dude. Oh, there we go. Finally got that swamp out there. Um, so I think I'm going to equip my Basilisk Collar to him. And uh, I don't think I'm going to use my Doom Blade here. No real reason to. Um, I could swing him with my Doom Traveler just in hopes that he blocks with Krovigan Mist, but he'll just block with the Gargoyle. So there's that's fine. He's got five cards in hand again, though. <laughs> he was down to one last turn, and that's where drawing cards really helps. Like again, I had I had early game on lockdown pretty much, but my Modi Jin. Let's hope he doesn't have another counter spell in hand. Um, is he gonna swing in with his with his five five? I would think he would. I don't know, maybe not. Just my one two and the five five. Okay. So here I'm just gonna block. And what you got? Fleeting distraction. Okay, that'll that'll do her. It's pretty good. I did not think of that. Um, hold on. End step. Do I want to do anything? Cause like, I definitely want to doomblade something here. Well, I don't necessarily need to. I want to. Well, I want to use my black mana efficiently. But the only problem is I really wanted to doomblade the. Uh, all right. Well, we'll just doomblade this. And hope he doesn't have curfew. What's going on here? And hope he doesn't have curfew. He does not have curfew. Perfect. Okay. Um, land again. That's good. So now that means that I have Essence Drain online. Uh, okay. He quit out. That's a little bit weird. I don't think that that game was anywhere near over. In fact, it was just hitting its stride. Um... I don't know, I think I was actually going to be able to mount a comeback from there. Was he really that upset that I Doombladed his <laughs> um, his mom Odijin? I don't think so. He must have lost connection or something like that. But that kind of sucks. guess I'll play another game. Try to actually get one to the end. <laughs> um, if, unless that's too much to ask for. That might be too much to ask for. I always have trouble getting in games this time of day. I don't know why. Like, I just click on the guy, and they're like, Nope, Daisho, we don't like you. You're not going to get into the game today. Um, let's just host my own game. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, come on. <laughs> I want you to play against me. I want to beat you. And I want to check what my rating is. I haven't checked my rating in quite some time, actually. Ooh, this guy's got a little knight exemplar emblem thingy. I have a bunch of messages. I haven't been on Xbox for a while. Uh, this guy sent me a voice message. What the hell? I don't want this. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay. Well, sorry I didn't get a chance to really read any of your messages, but um, I'll keep this in. He plays first, but I have Doomblid, Black Sun. It's not Black Hole Sun, by the way, guys. I don't know. I don't know who started that one. That one bothers me almost as much as calling Spread the Sickness Proliferate. <laughs> it's a kill card. It just has Proliferate on it. God. You, oh, he's playing knights. This is gonna get nasty. Oh my god, it's just a matter of how many dudes I want to wait for before I use Black Sun Zenith. Um, let's just play another Swampert here. No reason to let him know what deck we're playing. I guess, yeah, I don't think I have any um, cards that were, are worth one white-white. Um, but no matter what he plays, I can kill it with Black Sun Zenith. Knight Exemplar. Uh, I wanted to pause that game there. All right, well, I'll take I'll take some damage here. Um, all I need to do is Black Sun Zenith for two, so I can do that not this turn but the turn after. Um, I'll get Wall of Souls out there this turn though. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter if he has counters on him. I guess maybe maybe that wasn't a great idea. Why 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 why? <laughs> okay. And what you got for me, brah? More dudes. More dudes. Um, I'm probably going to want to... He's not going to come in here. I don't think he'd bring in. Okay. And is that enough or should I... Oh, I got a Doom Traveler. So 
I'll play him, and he can chump block the uh, the Mirror and Crusader next turn. And then I'll finally use Black Sun Zenith the turn after that, um, hoping that he plays another creature. And then he basically, or actually, if he plays two creatures this turn, that would be the nuts. I'd be the happiest. Oh, that's not a creature. Damn it. No dude. Do you have a dude also? Because that would just suck. Um, maybe I just take the damage from Mirin. Oh, he's bringing Metagrain also. Okay. Well, I'll block Metagrain. And should I block Mirin? Should I just... Yeah, I don't really want to take six. I guess that was probably bad because I could have avoided this whole thing. Like, there's no point in not bringing uh, Metagrain, but... Whatever. Okay, so he's only down, he's down to two cards in hand though. Um, let's swing in first with uh, the spirit because he's about to die a horrible and painful death. And um, I still have some control spells in my hand, so that's not terrible. Let's just do it for two. Wipe the board, please. And I still get to keep my wall, but he is a zero two, so it's kind of useless, I guess. Because everything in his deck has first strike anyway. So it's just going to kill it pre -com. I'm probably going to equip that guy up. He's got hasting tins and intimidating tins. So I'll probably have to kill him next turn. Which means that no guard... I mean, I'm going to... Actually, I can just play... Oh, no, because now he's got first strike too. All right. Well, that was a pretty good turn for him. That sword is surprisingly useful. But, um, soon I'm going to be able to start beating face. Let's see what you got for me here, bruh. If he plays like a Knight Exemplar, I'm just going to spam the, uh, <laughs> the pause button. Because I'm going to need to get my Doom Blade. Get my Doom Blade on. Knight of the White Orchid. See, he's like, now is when I really want a Black Sun Zenith. But I couldn't really take much more damage. I guess I could have blocked the Mirren again the next turn. See what was up. Cloud Crusader pretty decent pretty decent luckily my fallen angel should do the trick here um, in terms of walling off his side even with the plus two plus oh I can just sacrifice my uh, well actually I would have to sacrifice two guys so that's not not really ah oh, there we go voice of all timely and declaration of protection from white and uh i don't know that should do the trick here him plus the fallen angel um he's gonna obviously equip up his cloud crusader right yeah i guess if he equipped up the other guy no yeah well then he could okay that guy's got flanking tins so that's pretty good no first strike but flanking is good I don't know why he's attacking. I can just block. But, I mean, I guess there's no point in not attacking. And you may as well hope that I make a mistake. Right? Why not? Alright, let's draw something cool here. Alright, not a land. That's not helpful. Alright, well. I am going to play my Fallen Angel. And then, uh... Pass the turn away. If he does swing in with his... No, I can't do that. I was going to say with his flank. His flank knight's going to be pretty decent for him. He can just swing with side here. And then that would be pretty good. This guy. I mean, he's actually really, really strong. <laughs> um, yeah. He should have swung with side there, I think. Would have been the, uh, the most beneficial play. But again, I'll just block with my protection, dude. Uh, making your guy bigger. Do you think it can kill my dude now? <laughs> or Oh, it has trample. Shit. Did not see that. Daisho getting raped. Okay, well, next turn I guess I'll block and kill it. Um Yep. Okay. That was dumb. Did not see that at all. Alright, you're just gonna swing him with your dude. And uh, definitely just gonna definitely just gonna triple block him here. And I don't know if I get to see how he orders blockers, but um, he can just pump his guy twice. So I would have to. I think I'm just gonna lose my fallen angel out of this one. But 
Yeah, I'm just I'm also going to have to sacrifice my wall of souls, I think. Because otherwise he can just kill my fallen angel and my gargoyle pre-combat. Um Smite the monstrous. Fuck. It's pretty good. No, he's not gonna use it. Oh my god, he's terrible. Wait, what's going on here? Why is my uh is my fallen angel not getting any bigger? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this guy's really bad. Oh. No, he's not. He's got six power. I didn't fucking hit the pause button quickly enough. Now he's... All he has to do is kill my fallen angel. Yeah. Because... And I didn't even... That was just really, really poor on my part. Um, face fetters is pretty good. If I had fucking killed his cloud crusader last turn, then I could have been able to do this right. But, um, right now... Um, not really sure what I even have to put face fetters on. Like, I kind of need to stop the trample damage, but, um, alright, well, since it's already on his Cloud Crusader, it's not going to leave it, so I just got to deal with, uh, deal with the now and neuter that thing. But I don't know what I was thinking last turn. Um... Because he got, he got pumped in the back, too, so he's going to have, like, five toughness regardless of what I did. So as long as he had... Unless, unless my fallen angel got up to seven toughness, then I would have just been screwed. Okay, so now he's just going to be able to... Well, he can't swing in with that thing. Or he can. He can get in for two if he wants. Oh, wait. No, he can get in, because, obviously. Um, because he can just pump his dude. I mean, I'm still going to block, but he's going to get in for one. I mean, he's going to get in for three, and his dude's not going to die. So I go down to nine here, and I am forced to hope that I draw Damnation. Uh, Cadaver Amp is pretty good here. I don't remember what I have in the graveyard that I would like to go pick up. I guess just Fallen Angel. Um, can't play him this turn, but at least Cadaver Amp means that I have another blocker. And that maybe in like three turns I can actually do that stupid thing that I was trying to do last turn, like quad fucking rape block. And it'll be easier since he's only got two toughness to begin with, I guess. Um, Alright. Getting for another couple of damage, I guess. Um, he gets in for four this turn. I could really use damnation here. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Or my more my black holes. Uh, God damn it, I said it. My black sun zenith could come back. That would be full of help. Helpful. Okie dokie. Let's, let's pass the turn. Um, living death would be pretty terrible right now, actually. Now that I think about it. I don't want living death. Don't give me living death. Please. please don't. Oh, Iona's judgment. Ugh. God damn it. Um, sacrifice it, because I don't want it to get exiled. But that means that I take another couple of damage here. Close to dying. Swinging with everyone here? That would be kind of cute. It would actually be helpful for me. I think I would gain life out of it. All right, you're just going to pump him pre-main phase, combat phase, this. All right, well, looks like I got one more turn here. Um, he's going to deal three to me with this one, and... Uh, Next turn, he can kill me. I can kill me. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. I wonder what I would have drawn if I... No, it's not even going to show me. Not even going to show me. Damn it. So, um, that game could have gone a little bit different. That Sword of Vengeance was really sort of clutch for, for him right there. But, um, you know, it's knights. What are you going to do against the knights? They're too powerful. They are too powerful. We cannot defeat them. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I'll be back with another video pretty soon. So, have a nice day. Bye.